In this video, I'm going to show you how you can organize the Classwork tab using topics. I've already gone ahead and logged into Google Classroom, and you can see that I have created several topics to organize student work. So I've got daily work, quizzes, extension activities, reflection, and then three down here at the bottom, reading, presentations, and homework, I have yet to attach a post to. So, and right here it reminds you that students can only see topics with published posts. So until I add something to this topic, students aren't going to see it on their end. So if we switch over to a student account, you will see that they see daily work, quizzes, extension, activity, and reflection, because each of those topics have something posted to it. But they do not see those three topics that I have kind of just waiting, um, ready for posts. So let's take a look um, at creating topics. Now, this is the way I would have organized my classwork tab in a normal situation, in a normal school year. But now we are on a long-term closer situation. And I think I might choose to organize my classwork tab a little bit differently. So I think now, I think it would be more appropriate to organize my classwork tab based on weeks. And I would post a week of activities at a time in the classwork, classroom for students to work on. So I'm gonna create a new topic. I'm gonna to go to Create and Topic. And I'm gonna call this week of April 6th. Now, if you notice my topics, the ones that I've already created, they actually have a little picture in front of them. And that's just to kind of give them some visual interest to make them stand out a little bit more. And all that is, is an emoji. So if I go to my topic that I'm creating and I right click in front of it, you'll see that I have an emoji option. And then it's gonna bring up my emoji list so I can add any of these emojis that I want. Now, I think week of April 6th is gonna be on fire, so I'm gonna use the fire emoji, close that and click add. You will see that it adds to my topics, but it's all the way down at the bottom. I want my kiddos to be able to find that quickly and easily, so I'm gonna take the week of April 6th and I'm gonna drag it up to the top and try it again. All I'm doing is clicking and dragging and just going to let my mouse go. There we go. Now it's at the top, so it'll be easy for them to find. All right, now I have this topic. Let's add some activities to it. So this week, I'm going to have my students explore the Fibonacci sequence. So we haven't talked about this in class yet, so I want to give them an article to read, a video to watch, so that they can learn about the Fibonacci sequence. So I'm going to go ahead and up to the Create button, and I'm gonna add some materials for them to explore. So a material is nothing that the students have to submit, so it makes, this is a great option to use for this activity when I want them to read an article and watch a video. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a title and a description. So I have my title and my description entered in. Now I'm gonna add my attachments. So I'm gonna uh, add this article for students to read. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna hit add, link, and paste that in there. There is the link to the video. I also have a, or excuse me, an article. I also have a video that I want them to watch. So I'm gonna to go to YouTube. I'm going to copy this link. I'm going to go back to Classroom. I'm going to go to Add YouTube. Since I have the address, I'm gonna click on URL and paste that in and add. Now, with any material, you can assign this to multiple class periods if you want to. You can assign it to all students or you can select certain students. And the most important thing you want to remember is that you want to add it to that topic that we just created for this week. So I'm gonna to click Topic and Week of April 6th. And I'm gonna go ahead and post it. So that material will go right under the week of April 6th. I also have, after they are finished exploring what the Fibonacci sequence is, I have an assignment that I want them to do. So I'm going to go back to the Create tab, and this time I'm going to choose Assignment. In this assignment, I have a Google Slides presentation that I each want them to add their own slide to. So one presentation that I'm going to share with all of the students so that they can add their own information to a slide in the same presentation. So I've added my title, and I've given them some instructions, and now I'm going to add the slideshow that I want them to add their information to. So in this case, I'm going to go to Add and Google Drive, and I have already created a slideshow that I want them to add a slide to. So under Recent, it will pop right up, Fibonacci Sequence, I'm gonna go ahead and add that. And here we need to change the share settings. So in this case, I want one presentation that all students add a slide to. 
So in this case, I'm going to choose students can edit the file. One slideshow, every student has access to the same file. The other option that we have is make a copy for each student. So if I wanted each student to do his or her own slideshow, that's the option that I would choose. In this case, I want one slideshow that is shared through for the entire class and each student is going to add one slide to that same slideshow. Now again, you can specify which class it needs to go to, the students that it needs to go to, you can decide how many points that you want it to be or you can make it ungraded. You can specify a due date and most importantly, you need to add that topic. So week of April 6 is the activities that I'm working on right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit assign. That is gonna add that to that topic. Notice that it adds it at the bottom of the topic. So if I wanted that to, uh, I can reorganize the, the order of the items within the topic, but I want them to explore first and then I want them to apply. Again, this is the teacher side. Let's take a look at the student side and see how this looks to the student. So here we are on a student account and you can see the week of April 6th. Notice the different items within this topic. This is a material. It is grayed out, which means it signifies to the student there is nothing that they need to do to submit this assignment. And when they, when they see that, again, there's no submit button. That is what the information is there for them to explore. But on the assignment, notice that it is gray, dark gray. That signifies to the student that this is something that you have to turn in. You have to submit. You have to interact with it and you have to submit it. So when we open that, it tells them to click view assignment. They'll click view assignment. They'll be able to see the slideshow that they will open. And when they are finished, they are going to click mark as done so that you, the teacher, knows that they are finished with that assignment. So one way to organize the classwork tab is by using topics.